you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, happy 2022, Happy New Year, Merry Late Christmas. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of celebrations that we need to catch up on. Um, my hair is a bit crazy. I might fix it as I'm talking. But I wanted to just do an update video and welcome everybody back. And not that, not that I have to put this video out there, but you know, we've always um, documented our life and uh, we did Vlogmas, which I think was really fun, um, and then all of a sudden we just dropped off, which we kind of tend to do, but um, this year was, Christmas was weird, because I, as the thumbnail says, um, I spent a little bit of time in the ER right before Christmas, and I was just going to kind of update y'all on, on what happened, <laughs> what's going on. Um, Anyway, I'll get right to it. So the week before Christmas, whatever week that was, around the 17th, um, allergies were really, really bad here. Like cedar has been breaking records with how high it is. And cedar is a thing around here that gets a lot of people in Texas. And so I got really, really bad um, sinus issues. So it was a ton of congestion here. Could not breathe through my nose pressure in my head. Um, I didn't have any coughing or anything like that, but I did feel really tired. I felt run down. Um, there was a couple, a couple nights where I had chills. Um, so stayed home. I was like, I don't know if this is a sinus infection. That's kind of what I thought it was. So kept an eye on things. Um, I tested negative for the, you know what, cause I went ahead and did a test and, um, it's going to get, get a bit serious here for a second, but I did also at the same time have a very early miscarriage. Um, and this is something that I have struggled with in the past. Um, and it just so happened to happen at the time. It was a complete surprise and a shock at the same time. Um, won't go into any more details with it, but those two things combined and I had a, I had a really bad week the week before Christmas. So I had my sinus stuff for about a week. It started to clear up, um, but I had some lingering symptoms. So I started getting really, really lightheaded, really dizzy, and very weak. Like my muscles were tired from doing normal daily things. Like picking up Eva, I would feel like I was lifting like a 50 pound dumbbell over and over and I would have to put her down or I'd have to rest often because my muscles were just so tired. And this is after the symptoms had cleared up. So of course I got on Google and started looking around um, and found that there could be complications of what I was going through, um, not the sinus stuff, and that it could be possible infection. So I called, we have a nurse hotline that we can call, called them, gave her my symptoms. I told her I was really dizzy, really lightheaded, um, nausea on and off. And she said, you need to go to the ER because it could be an infection. So we went into the ER this was the Wednesday before Christmas. And my actual dizziness and weakness was getting better at this point but I still wanted to go to make sure there was no, nothing wrong. So we went into the ER, got seen right away. Um, they did a bunch of blood work. They did like a metabolic panel. They did white and red blood cell count. And I was sitting there in triage after she had drawn blood. And I was like, I'm about to pass out. I passed out a couple times before, um, in my life. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, I get really bad anxiety when it comes to doctors, hospitals, and things like that. And so that combined with my already kind of dizziness and fatigue, and then she drew blood. So I passed out. <laughs> 
and I woke up as they were um, picking me up from a wheelchair and putting me onto a bed in the ER. And my first question, I was like, am I going to be okay? <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> and um, the nurse explained, you know, you just, you're going to be okay. We're just making sure that everything is good with your stats. Um, so that wasn't fun. <laughs> but Matt was like, well, I got you. I got you a room really fast. <laughs> and so we were there for, I think, about seven hours. And most of it was just us waiting on one final test result. Um, heart rate was good. I mean, heart rate was great. Blood pressure was great. Oxygen saturation or oxygen level, whatever, whatever that is, was great. Um, my blood work all came back normal. They thought maybe I had anemia because of my lightheadedness and dizziness. Um, everything they said checked out and was good. Um, the very last test that we waited on was to make sure that there was no infection from the miscarriage and that was okay too. So the, at the very, like before we got, um, discharged, the doctor came in and said that it could have been, he said, there's a lot of things that could be going on. Cause I told him everything that had happened in the last week. And he said, it could have been a virus. Um, you know, with your sinus symptoms, it could have been a virus that you are basically still recovering from. They had me on um, some fluids. He said that you are a little bit dehydrated. So they go ahead, they went ahead and gave me fluids. Um, and he just said rest. And, you know, of course, if it gets worse or anything, call a doctor. So sent me back home that night. And the, the dizziness got a little better. Um, Thursday was much better. So I was like, okay, cool. We're done. Uh, and then Christmas it hit again. And it was so bad that I went into a panic attack. And so dizziness, weakness combined with a full blown panic attack. I was in bed all day. Um, and it makes me so sad because Christmas is my favorite. And I just like the day was just gone because I was in bed. Um, so that kind of sucked. And the dizziness and fatigue continued into the next week, actually. Um, and I was just, I mean, for three solid weeks, I was, I didn't do anything because I was so tired. Um, the following Wednesday after Christmas, we actually, um, I found out about a mobile IV um, company where they come and they give you vitamin drips. Basically, it's like they'll have saline, they've got all kinds of vitamins that can help, um, if you're dehydrated, which the doctor said that I was dehydrated. So I was, I've been like chugging as much water as possible. Um, but I was thinking maybe I was still a little dehydrated. So I actually got a, um, we called one of the companies and they came to our house and hooked me up to a little mobile IV, um, with a bunch of vitamins and vitamin C and B vitamins and saline and all this good stuff. And, um, talked with that nurse He'd been a nurse or is a nurse for 16 years, um, was really knowledgeable about all of this stuff. And so he was, he was saying, this should help you feel better. Obviously, if these symptoms persist, he's like, you need to go back to the doctor. Um, thankfully that day, uh, I started to feel better a couple hours after I got all the vitamins. Um, and essentially since that day, I'm not saying it's just because of that. I think that my body was just slowly working through things and the, you know, the IV drip definitely helped. But since that day, I started feeling better and better and better. And then it leads us into, I guess it's this week. My timeline's all messed up. Um, but I'm back to normal. So long story short, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened but I'm all better. <laughs> I also went to the doctor yesterday. We had scheduled, Matt and I have both scheduled doctor's appointments with our just regular physician. We scheduled them like two weeks before I got sick. And that was the earliest appointment that they had for new patients because we had to switch insurance. And so I was like, well, I'm going to keep the doctor's appointment because if I'm still feeling bad, at least I'll be able to go into him. But felt much better. Um, talked to him about what was going on 
and he was saying, yeah, it just could have been some kind of sickness. I told him I tested negative, although I thought it might be the, you know what, um, and he said that it could have been a possibility, but he said, you know, like when you're having symptoms, because I tested in the thick of it whenever I was having symptoms, um, you know, he's like, hey, we just, we just don't know as far as the testing goes. But, um, he said, you know, you basically, your body was working through whatever it was. It took some time combined with other things going on. And so, yeah, um, we did talk about anxiety. Um, another kind of candid bit is I will be, um, looking for a therapist to help with anxiety. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time, but just have never gotten around to doing it. And I think that will help tremendously because one of the main, one of the worst things about all of that was my anxiety. And if anybody struggles with anxiety, you know how, much that you can take one thought or one worry and just run with it and then combine that with google searching i was a mess i thought that i had so many different things and of course i thought everything was terminal and it was it was tough um the the mental part of it i think was one of the harder things because i just didn't know and going from being so active and healthy and feeling so good and then just all of a sudden being almost bedridden for like three weeks was really tough. So obviously I didn't film videos. Um, <laughs> that was the last thing on my mind, but I just, I wanted to fill you all in because it, that's, that's where, I've, where I've been. Um, Matt has been the best support system that I could ever ever hope for. He's been so patient and reassuring about all of my fears and anxieties. Um, I took a lot of baths with Epsom salt. Those helped a lot to like help me relax and kind of calm my mind. But you know, he, he took care of everything, um, every single thing and was just like, you rest. So he, he's been, obviously he's been absolutely incredible. He always is. I'm just so thankful to have him. Um, and then Eva whole time, it's like she didn't know what was going on, but she has just been so happy. And she's like the little ray of sunshine whenever I was feeling so bad and getting really down on myself, like just looking at her and just watching her play, um, helped. So it, it's been a rough couple of weeks but I'm so thankful to be feeling better. So, so thankful. Uh, I just got out of the gym. In fact, my workouts this week have been great. My fatigue and the muscle soreness is gone. Um, I'm sore this week, but it's because I haven't worked out in three weeks. So, um, I'm, I'm a little sore. So it might take another Epsom salt bath today to help with that. But, um, yeah, it's, I, I don't know if this video is going to get demonetized because I'm talking about sickness and I know that that's like a hot topic right now, but every, everybody, if you were sick over the holidays, let me know in the comments below, because I feel like everybody that I know was sick. It's one of the trainers. I feel like everybody that I know was sick during Christmas at some point, like, or had family that was sick. Um, crazy crazy, crazy. But yeah, I'm glad to be back to normal. Um, the very, like as far as other people in the family, knock on one, nobody else got sick. Eva had a runny nose the first day that I had allergy symptoms or the sinus issues. Um, Matt's had allergies on and off, but like I said, cedar has been so bad this year, like record highs. So everybody's also got allergies. So combine that with stuff going around, everybody's sniffling and sneezing and it's kind of a, kind of a messy time, but all the more motivation for me to continue to take care of myself. I have made sure that my diet is as on point as possible. Like I'm trying to get in so many whole foods, fruits and veggies, taking all my vitamins and my greens, um, just trying to stay on top of things. And as I was able to get back into working out this week, I've been making sure 
um, to focus on keeping my body healthy because it's, it's more important now than ever. Um, you know, and so that's, that's my encouragement to everybody out there is, you know, I, I know that it's winter and usually we stay in, but do not forget to take care of your body and, you know, keep yourself physically and mentally healthy. And, and I think the last month has just been a really, really, um, really strong reminder for me. So not taking my, my health for granted for sure. Um, I, one of the days that I was so tired and I was just laying there, I told Matt, I was like, if I ever complain about being able to be active again, you know, if I complain about having to work out or whatever, just slap me because <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to take it for granted again. I'm never going to take playing with Eva for granted again. Now that I can run around and chase her again, like I'm not going to take that for granted. So yeah, crazy. But like I said, if you've, um, if you've been sick this Christmas, let me know because I'm, this is crazy. It's crazy that like it's blowing through. I don't know if maybe it's just in this area or in Texas, or if it's because of the allergies combined with cold and flu season. I don't know, but, um, those sirens are real loud, but hopefully you're having a good day. Um, I'm glad to be back. We will return with the vlogs. Um, either for the end of this week or next week and just kind of get back into normal life. We have not taken down our Christmas stuff yet. I'm going to be honest with you. So if you see a vlog, it's probably going to, there's probably going to be Christmas stuff in it still. So don't judge, but literally about no energy to do anything <laughs> um, before this week. So we will be taking down Christmas, but I also told Matt that I was like, I don't mind leaving it up a little longer this year because I feel like I got duped out of the best part of Christmas, which is Christmas day. So we're enjoying the Christmas lights and the trees for a little bit longer. And Eva also loves them so much. And I don't like, how do you tell a toddler Christmas is over? We're taking down the decorations that you love so much. Maybe we'll just leave them up all year. What do you think? <laughs> but that's going to be it. Thank you for listening to my 17 minute talk. Um, sending lots of love and healthy vibes your way. And we'll see you in the next video. Have fun out there. Bye.